everybody, it's you Flacco back at it again with another Madden YouTube and today we have a video on the Backyard Baller promo. I am super excited about this. I have no clue what it is. Nobody has any clue what it is. It's a random promo that we have never seen before. It sounds cool. He's uh, the guy who's actually hosting the show in the morning has been hyping it up. I'm super excited. Let's quickly get into it. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that sub button if you are new here. We do this for every promo. We do new gameplay, so we'll have gameplays on all these cards as well. Let's get right into it. All right, starting off with the 87s, he did say this is an out of position promo that has built in cards or built in AP abilities. You guys can see, I actually do not know what that first one is. And then he has edge threat. This is a right end Peeny, I always forget how to say it. I'm just going to say Seawall. I always forget to say his first name right. But at the end of the day, this is going to be a super dope promo. And they have four drops. It's going to be today, next Tuesday, the next Friday, and then the Tuesday after that as well. So both Fridays and then both Tuesdays. So we're getting Tuesday content. And there, all these cards will get backyard ballers chem. They're going to work the same as a normal team chem. As we get a Grover Stewart, I would be lying to you if I knew what position Grover Stewart, I'm going to guess D-Tackle. In normal position, I have no clue who that is. But at the end of the day, I think this promo is going to be awesome. We got a Kenny Clark right tackle as well. Obviously, these 87s probably are not even going to play on super no money spent teams. I, I think even like the bottom of the barrel no money spent teams are like 90 overall right now, basically. And we get an Aaron Donald fullback who has bulldozer, I believe. And I think that's honorary lineman at 91 speed. I mean, these cards could be very, very glitchy despite their low overall. Aaron Donald, not a bad card right there. We got Patrick Ricard playing D tackle under pressure and he has inside stuff. This is actually a glitchy card for an 89 overall under pressure and inside stuff. If you can get that somehow for like one AP or two AP, that would be actually ridiculous because those are two of the best abilities in the game right there. That's actually a solid, solid card. This is like a, this is a crazy budget demon right here. Vernon Butler Jr. I cannot talk this morning. I don't know why. Center, he's obviously a D tackle in his normal spot. Nice little solid card here. Obviously, we're not really too hype until we get to the big ones. And there it is, the Tim Tebow. He's going to get mid and elite and bulldozer as well. 93 speed tight end. I mean, obviously, he doesn't really have much stats. They're all of his catchings below 90 in the short. This is more of like a meme card. This is a fun card. He actually has speed, too. Like, that is good speed for a tight end right now. Kyle Pitts has six, or 93 speed right now. And he has built-in abilities, which could be very... Oh, God, what is this? Vince Wilfork with a bulldozer at the kicker spot. I think we might need to get some fakes, some um, some field goal fakes with Vince Wilfork out there. That This might be a crazy gameplay, or obviously on top of a gameplay. Sherman will be getting a wide receiver spot. Looks like he has outside apprentice right there. I would think that is. I can't see which kind of book it is. It's like really, really small right there. And it looks like mid and elite or deep out elite or, or mid and elite or deep in elite. He has 94 speed. He's a deep threat. Not a single threshold besides spec catch getting hit above 90. Not the best card. He is six foot three. Like I said, a lot of these cards until we get to like the 93s, 95s, whatever they're going by, I think they're going to go 93s and 95s. It's going to be a little tough. And it looks like Robert, H okay, they're, they're just making up some crazy stuff, but I love it. I love it. This is actually cool. Robert Hunt has Acrobat, and I, fr I they, a lot, they're picking a lot of random abilities. I actually don't even know what that second ability is, but he's a cornerback with 89 speed. I know it's like a meme, but like this card, as I unmuted on accident, is about as unusable as it gets. Sean Taylor, right outside linebacker. Okay, we got Lurker on him, which you obviously need on your outside linebackers. And I think that is Deflator as well. Not Deflator, uh, I think it's Crusher maybe. That other ability right there, that was, that's one of the newer ones they brought into the game this year. Obviously, he's going to be a guy you could drop into coverage, but very, very fast. Really good block shed. He is six foot two, so if you like dropping your ends into coverage, he's actually not bad, even for that overall. 93 overall, or 93 overall, 94 overall speed, not bad at all. Andrew Thomas is going to get a tight end card 93 overall not much speed but he's going to be there for run blocking 93 run blocking he has mid and elite and it looked like a run blocking ability oh and there it is there it is Joe Mixon quarterback card he comes with pass lead elite to help him throw the ball more and also I have like they're picking a lot of I have no clue what that is that's probably one of those terrible abilities if we're going to be honest it looks like dashing dead eye maybe 
I actually forget what that one is, but he actually, all of his stats are going to be above 90 if they give him power-ups. If they don't have power-ups, that deep accuracy will not be above a 90, but this card is actually not bad. If they give him, like, the Derrick Henry release or even, like, the, the Jalen Hurts, Cam Newton, or Kyler Murray release, he is going to be an actual fun, fun card, and I think you'll see a lot of people using him. What did they just release in this game? Tyree Kill, middle linebacker. 97 speed acrobat and lurker built in. Okay, we're getting a Tyree Kill game. This card is like, okay, if that AP is somehow two AP, or maybe even if it's three, this is arguably the best, one of the best users in the game. He's obviously shorter, but like not best users, but you know what I mean. It'll be a fun card. Stefan Gilmore, though, is going to get Hot Road Master and Sefi lead. This promo, this promo is absolutely wild. I'm not going to lie. It is crazily wild. 93 speed. It all depends on the releases. Like, Stephon Gilmore can get a glitchy, glitchy release. But he's a cheap Hot Row Master guy. Not bad at all. 97 overall Jimmy Graham safety card. As you guys know, he is six foot seven. Six foot seven. He has Acrobat and Pick Artist, so they know which abilities are the best. 95 speed. So this is basically a better Ted Hendricks. I think he's faster than Ted Hendricks. So now he gets Bears, Saints, uh, I'm trying to think, Seahawks, I think. Am I if I'm missing something, this theme team, what I, this guy is a card you might want to move your theme team for. This is a ridiculous card. Like, I'm talking he might be one of the best safeties in the game. He's arguably the best. He's probably going to be one of the best users in the game. I mean, Jimmy Graham is a must on the team tomorrow. This card is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like our LTD. I think there's going to be rerolls confirmed tomorrow. We got wide receiver Ricky. Oh, I can't. I almost said Williams. R Williams. I cannot talk this morning. 96 speed. I hope these cards get power ups or a plus one onto them. So he'll hit 99 speed for everybody. But it looks like he has route tech. I, I have no clue what this is. I literally have no clue what it is. But it looks like those are going to be all the cards. This promo. I've never been so excited for a promo before. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Make sure to comment down below which cards you are adding and also which cards you guys want to see in a video tomorrow in a gameplay. We'll get the first ones out immediately. I'm thinking, I don't even know. Jimmy Graham looks crazy. The offense, probably that Ricky Williams LTD. But let me know in the comments who you guys want to see tomorrow. And yeah, let me know. I don't know. I love the promo personally. I think out of positions are one of the most fun things about Madden. Makes the game enjoyable. Very, very fun to me personally. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Crazily, crazily enjoyed the promo. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.